Hi there, welcome to my session and I'm going to take you through the reasons as to why the Allied powers won the war or the advantages that the Allied powers had over Central powers and uh, that's why they won World War One. Let's look at the first reason. The first reason is that the Allied powers had more manpower than the Central powers and for instance a total number of allied supporters of 25 states and these 25 states uh, were among the most resourceful countries for example we had britain we had france we had russia we had belgium we had italy we had japan portugal and united states of america and also british or uh, uh, the british had large empire that gave them moral and military support and also it included the self governing dominions of south africa canada new zealand and australia also the british colonies overseas fought hard for the victory of the crown so that's why the allies won the war another reason let's look is that the allies had financial and industrial resources not only in europe but also in their overseas colonies and this was a great advantage during the war another reason is that the allies had more powerful weapons compared to the central powers for instance they had tanks aircraft and battleship so these weapons they were being used alongside their unmatched skillful war the unmatched skillful war tactics that is why they defeated the central powers let's look also at another reason is the invasion of neutral belgium by germany if you can remember it was seen as unreasonable and this turned the face of the whole world into germany and they were against the central powers but as much as uh, germany uh, uh, invaded neutral belgium belgium on the other hand uh, supported the allies allied powers for example they gave them food fuel as well as a landing space for aircraft and therefore we see that as much as uh, uh, it, it was known as neutral belgium they really helped the allied powers to see, uh, to defeat the central powers another reason is that the allied sea power contributed to their victory what we mean by sea powers is that when they were fighting in the seas if you can remember the war in the seas their uh, sea power was more powerful compared to the central powers for instance uh, when they were fighting at the seas and they defeated the uh, central powers is that they even caused some food shortages severe food shortages among the central powers and this weekend the central powers making the allied powers to win the war another reason is that the allies had good political leadership for example the likes of lloyd george a british premier george clement shaw of a french premier among others uh, they helped they were, they were competent competent and focused what we mean by a premier it it can be a cabinet uh, member it can also be um a, it can be a prime minister for example a british prime minister so these were good uh pol they they had good and uh, they had good political leadership so meaning their um leadership or their political leadership it was uh, that of uh, it was more of stable i beg your pardon another reason is that the allies demonstrated a great sense of unity and command under general Foch. if you can remember general general Foch was commander of the allied forces and is the one who made the guns to go silent in the year 1918 when he gave the germans uh, some stiff ultimatum a 72 hours ultimatum and the germans had no uh, they had no option but uh, to bow down to those terms so uh, this general Foch, uh he helped the allies to demonstrate a great sense of unity and command 
Also, another reason is that the Germans were badly let down by her colleagues, for example, the Italy campaign. Also, we had um, Turkey, who easily accepted defeat all the time, and they even uh, they already gave up when the war was going on. And then we have this Bulgaria and Austria, Hungary, they were not stable. They just wanted Germany to help them all the time. Therefore, they, uh, this made uh, the central powers to be weak and the allied powers were strong. And then the last point is the entry of United States uh, of America into World War I accelerated the defeat of central powers. If you remember, it was like when the USA joined World War I, it was like it was God sent. So uh, these United States of America, we have been told that they, breathed, they did breathe a full breath of a, uh, which had a fresh burst of life into the allied uh, powers and they helped in campaign against the central powers and the industrial might of United States of America and our economic wealth helped the allies to force the central powers to their knees. And those are the reasons why the allies won the war or the advantages that the allied powers had over the central powers.